Hello, welcome back to Online Pharmacy. This is you and this is me, your online pharmacist. So, this is part 3 of our ointment basis in which we discuss the water removal basis which is also known as the hydrophilic basis as it is written in front of you. Hydrophilic basis. Water removal basis as the name indicates that the basis which may be removed by water and hydrophilic means water loving the filic and indicates loving okay now what is this this is oil in water emulsion okay what is this this is oil in water emulsion in the previous lectures we have discussed mm -hmm. in the previous lectures we have discussed water in oil emulsions mm -hmm. but today's we are discussing water removal bases which are o upon w oil in water this two face is liquid and this yellow dots are oil so the liquid is external face whenever the external face of an ointment is liquid it may be removed by water it is water washable base okay so today's we have oil in water emulsion or oil in water ointment base okay so it also have characteristics like other ointment bases similarly other ointment bases are also present what are the characteristics of that they can be removed by water yes of course because the external face is well not oleaginous the external face is water this is also known as hydrophilic okay these bases are oil in water as we have discussed emulsions commonly called creams this is the best example creams are water removable bases okay whenever you have to mention any one example of water soluble bases water removal bases sorry so you must mention their creams because in creams the external face is liquid not oleaginous the external face is liquid they may be easily washed from skin yes why because the same reason the external face is liquid and often called water washable bases yes why we are calling this water washable because on the application of one exposure to water they may be completely removed from the area where we can we were up can apply okay they may be diluted with water or aqua solutions yes why because the external face is liquid they can be absorbed serous discharges what are the serous discharges the secretions which are excreted out from your skin which can release from your skin these are serous discharges so they can absorb oil and water emulsion water and oil there's a difference in between them now today we are discussing oil and water emulsion but for water and oil emulsion as we have discussed in our previous this yellow face is an oil and it is external face understand and these yellow uh, blue dots indicates liquid inside so these bases cannot remove by water why because the external face is oil why because the external face is oil but they can removed by water why because the external face is liquid understand the external face is liquid so what is the classification of ointment and bases and how we can classify that there are following properties on which we can classify or divide the ointment bases as there we are discussing emulsion ointment bases water and oil and second are oil and water as we have discussed the difference between the water and oil and oil and water emulsion so what is the difference in between them whenever we are treating with water and oil emulsion bases or dealing with this type of ointment bases the more properties include in these are they are hydrous absorb water insoluble in water not washable why because the external face is oil water oil emulsion examples examples are most important lalonin rose water ointments and cold cream these are very important ointment okay the examples of these water and oil emulsions now lanolin we have discussed there are lanolin are modified lanolin and various different kinds of lanolin for which we have to listen the previous lecture part two rose water ointments and cold cream these are the examples of water in oil emulsions okay water and oil emulsion in which the external face is oil okay the external face is oil 
so they are hydrates they will absorb water they are insoluble in water they are not washable why they are not washable because external phase is oil and they are called water or emulsions basis understand now now we are come towards an another heading which is emulsion ointment based oil in water so it also have a different properties as compared to emulsion ointment based water in oil it may be hydrous of course hydrous having capability to compete or incorporate water hydrous having water or amount of water we will discuss in formula insoluble in water they are insoluble in water they are washable yes they are washable why they are washable because external phase is water oil in water emulsions and hydrophilic ointment why we are called hydrophilic this philic indicates loving so they are water loving ointments what is the formula every ointment till the first day we are discussing have the formula which is an official formula for the preparation so today we also preparing 1000 g of hydrophilic ointment means water removable ointment it includes methyl parabene 0.25 g propyl parabene 0.15 g sodium lauryl sulfate 0.10.0 grams propylene glycol 1.20 120 grams sugar alcohol 250 grams and white petrolatum 250 grams and purified water the quantity is much 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 greater as compared to these why because they are water removal bases the external phase is water so whenever we are preparing this the external phase the thing which is going to dissolve all things in it is water so here purified water is a act as a vehicle it can absorb methyl parabene methyl parabene propyl parabene they both have important property which we have discussed in earlier sodium lauryl sulfate it is also an important ingredient it also have a very important ability or a characteristic for ointment basis understand the third one sodium lauryl sulfate propylene glycol steroid alcohol steroid alcohol as you know that alcohol is also a preservative and having an antifungal and antimicrobial property as well white petrolatum is an ointment base white petrolatum and purified water is a vehicle so what is the formula if for formulation what we need we need the steroid alcohol and white petrolatum so what we have to do first we have to incorporate steroid alcohol and white petrolatum which is an ointment base we are melted together at 75 degree centigrade this is the most important point you have to learn that we are preparing this ointment at 75 degree centigrade what we are doing we are mixing the steroid alcohol and white petrolatum melt together at this temperature and the other ingredients further dissolved in purified water which we have taken how much 370 ml or grams of water okay then add with stirring what add we should add this the mixture of steroid alcohol and white petrolatum which we were melted okay we will add this mixture in the water purified water then stir it stir it until it mixes and congeals become solid or solidify now what is the role of sodium lauryl sulfate sodium lauryl sulfate is an emulsifying agent which emulsifies stabilizes the preparation emulsifier is an agent which prevent the separation of water from the ointment base which prevent the separation of other components suppose we are melted a steroid alcohol and petrolatum but if you are not adding the sodium lauryl sulfate then it may happen that the steroid alcohol and white petrolatums again solidify and separate it out from each other okay so we are writing an emulsifying agent agent which is stabilizing agent what we steroid alcohol do steroid alcohol and white petrolatum they both constitute the oleaginous phase as we know that this is an ointment base and of course ointment base is providing us a oleaginous ointment okay so this is an oleaginous phase of emulsion and the ingredients are the aqueous phase they all are they all jitni bhi humne yahan par banayi hai they all providing us an aqueous phase while the steroid alcohol constituting the oleaginous phase why they constituting an oleaginous phase this is a very important point because we are incorporated steroid alcohol with white petrolatum so obviously they will give us the oleaginous phase 
Okay. Methyl parabene and propyl parabenes. They both have a very important characteristic. They both are antimicrobial and antipreservatives as well. Okay. So today's lecture is ended for what we have done. Please do subscribe and share for motivate me and my team. Thank you so much. Stay tuned. Stay blessed.